Breaking news. Biafran woman in Canada, Amaka Sonbaja, officially joins BRGIE and Biafra Liberation Movement. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite Channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 12th of September 2024. And I have breaking information for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news. Because it's very, very important, I can assure you, my people. I have found it very, very imperative to make this very broadcast that I'm making right now because of the importance of it. For the past one month, a Biafran lady known as Amaka Sonbaja, who resides in Canada, has been trending online. For some people, she's been trending for good. Why some other people, especially the Afon Jazz and those that call themselves Ile Ibinu agents. So this sister of ours has been trending for bad for them. And now, based on the level that she is, she has become the envy of these people that I have just mentioned. Initially, it was to spite her. It was to bring her down. They even went to the extent of believing that somehow they are going to jail her because I saw them, you know, talking on television. Imagine a place they call mainstream media. That one that called himself Deji. I think his name is Deji that works with TVC. I saw them discussing her Makasson Badger. The time she was invited by Canadian police for questioning, ordinary questioning, and to hear her own side of the story everywhere in the zoo all the media everybody was jubilating both the animals in the zoo and the animals in the diaspora were all jubilating and celebrating that amaka has been arrested it was everywhere both on social media and the so-called mainstream media the idiot that they called deji i don't know if i'm correct with that name they are fun saying the Afon Singh that works with uh, TVC, Tinubu's TV station, was saying that she will, she must be jailed at least to serve as a deterrent to others, as a deterrent warning to others. I look at them, I say, these fools, these idiots believe that they are educated, they believe that they went to school, but their school is absolutely useless. Before you make such comments, have you ever, you know, thought of you know looking into the canadian law and know what their law says or have you even thought of the capability of the biafran you know republic government in exile that has taken over the case and dedicated itself to defend amaka sombaja have you ever thought of this you know this kind of thing and the people involved in the government of biafra in exile have you ever reason something like that they never thought of it. They were going about celebrating Amaka has been arrested. Even as she spent just a couple of minutes in Canadian police uh, office after her, you know, questioning and all that, she went back. None of them reported that Amaka has been released. None of them reported that Amaka has gone back to house. None of them. Now, today's breaking news is what you are seeing on your screen. And let us read from the official and verified ex-handle of the Prime Minister of the BLG, i.e. His Excellency, Ekba Simon Njoko. And this is what he said just a couple of minutes ago, as at the time of recording this very news. He said, breaking, our sister Amaka has united with Biafrans and we welcome her. Wow. Wow. Our sister Amaka has united with Biafrans and we welcome her. You see, she is always a Biafran, right? Anybody you see defending Biafran people, defending Igbos, 
defending a Bibios, defending a Jaws, defending Urobos, defending every tribe in Biafra land, defending Calabas. That person believes in Biafra restoration, even though he or she has never participated in any Biafran, you know, cause. In heart, they believe in our freedom. So, this our sister now, which we have never seen her participation in any Biafra movement, this one that has happened, has taught her very smart lesson, and she now knows that it is only Biafra. Those that she was thinking that she was in one country together, you get the gist you get the gist they know themselves those that she was thinking that they share one country together with <laughs> they have shown her shege they have shown her their biasness they have shown her how biased they are when others were castigating evil tribe saying all sorts of things threatening evils how they are going to buy all evils destroy them and uh, even buy their children the Ashawo, the Ashawo, known as Dabiri, who was doing a shower job in Nigeria in the name of, you know, journalism. She was selling her body to politicians in order to get high-level high interview with top political elites, both in the Northern Zoological Republic and in the West. Now, she turned blind eyes with what happened she turned blind eyes with the comment and rhetorics of others but immediately an evil woman spoke boom the whole world and one year i will tell you something but let us read what the prime minister said now he continued the government of biafra will continue to defend and represent persecuted biafrans all over the world I have been informed by the Biafra Canadian Lazen that our Amaka will be part of Biafrans in Canada that will welcome me to Canada on the 15th of this month. Biafrans, give a shout out to our new celebrity Amaka and welcome her. I am now doing my own. I am giving her my own shout out and of course I'm welcoming her into the fold at the same time. Now for your information those of you that support this very struggle and those of you who want to come in our prime minister of the blg ie his excellency Air Pasai Monunjoko, will be visiting canada on the 15th of this very month of september 2024 you are all welcome we are going to share the information and the link to join everything the town hall meeting you are working on whereby our own amaka will be there live so you must make sure you are there and from there on start supporting the you know the freedom movement for your own future and your future generation now let me tell you what you don't know this thing that is going on today is the sign of our freedom is the sign that we all need to know that biafra has left the zoo and the zoo is not happy with it the animals in the zoo are not happy with it that's why they are attacking us left right and center right so but we are not perturbed we are not moved at all at all we will continue to march and march and march until <laughs> we get to that promised land which we already seen now for dos nigeria west african limited and their irats their dogs especially there is one criminal i was told about that lives in north um, uh, south america somewhere they say he lives in venezuela one criminal that 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 that, that, that collected money from lady wanya want to sing his praises and if i if i knew back you thought we don't know who you are we know you <laughs> and we know your activities but i want to assure you now i don't know when the time comes you think you are in venezuela now zoom go go therefore no one on your money but i had to get canon when the time comes we don't have your time you go go now so now you must go and hug transformer after all your shenanigans all your calls all your idiocy calling amaka to make video and castigate someone castigate biafra government castigate anybody supporting someone and give you to post 
so that you you want to use our sister who was in depression who was in depression whereby the whole zoological republic as big as zoo is with its population was on top of her she was carrying a heavy laden a heavy load on top of her head you didn't feel any pity you didn't feel any sorry for her only thing you are interested in is to do propaganda with her predicament woe unto you shame on you shame on all of you who wanted to use the predicament of a Biafran woman who is in distress to do propaganda on social media because of your hatred on Mazi Samane. Woe unto you. You all have failed. I am using this opportunity to invite you all on the 15th of September. The Zoom link will be shared widely. Come and see the wonders that Chukwo Kikabiyama is going to use. This same marker that you wanted to use for propaganda to do in Biafra restoration and in the life of Biafran people. Thank you, my people. To salo no mozia and make it go viral.